Spider webs are often found in machine quilting as a symbol of good fortune and good luck because spiders are such industrious and creative little creatures. Well, I've got a fantastic tutorial to walk you through the basics of building your own spider web free motion machine quilting style. Wow, let's get started. Recently, I created this awesome quilt using Tula Peaks De La Luna fabric. It's an apothecary style quilt. And because of that, I needed a wonderful quilting motif to use in the background. So I used some wood grain and bubbles, but I also used the spider web, as you can kind of see right in here. And I'm gonna show you the basics on how to do the spider web, but I also want you to be thinking like anchor points, right? So our little spider would be up here in the corner of our shelf and she'd drop down onto the bottle or whatnot. And we, we want to start to think a little bit about anchor points while we work through our motif. So please just take a moment and drop down into that description below. We've got a free printable for you like we do in all of our free motion videos. So as you see here, this is gonna walk us through the structure and how we're going to do uh, the basics of the spider web. You can build it as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna start up here kind of at the tie off point. And as you can see by the little arrows, I'm coming down, then I'm gonna use an arcing motion to start the next leg and I'm gonna come back up. Think of your spider web almost like a ladder, but the rungs or the sides of the ladder are going to start to tilt in, and then we're just gonna create the legs, but with an arcing motion back and forth. Once I get up to that top point, I drop another straight line down, create an arc in an opposite direction, and bring it back up. I can come back down the center, as you see in step three, and we're gonna basically create about five different columns there. And then I just arc back and forth creating that uh, ladder effect, but I'm gonna go up and down the spider web portions, adding thick and thin spots, just like our little spider would if she was working on her web. So I've got another little spicy trick in this one, and I'm using some wonderful glow in the dark threads just because I can, and because somebody in the comments below on the quilt behind me said, hey, you should have used glow in the dark thread, and they were right, I think. So here today we're using the fun glow in the dark thread. It comes in a variety of colors. Uh, you're looking at the white here, and I'm gonna leave it right in the center so we can get it charged up nice and fun. Uh, because I'm using the glow-in-the-dark thread, it uses a little bit larger uh, size of an eye on the needle. So right now I've got a size 90 in my machine, where normally I'd be personally using an 80. It's a little bit of technical, but long story short, use what works for you. Now, as I'm getting ready to get started, I'm going to come up to what's going to kind of be my top area. I'm going to work it towards myself. I want to take one stitch here to pick up my bobbin thread. And I'm going to do that here, bringing it up. I am not using the glow in the dark thread in the bobbin. You would if you wanted to, people to see the back end of the project, but I'm not because I want to be able to maximize my glow in the dark thread on the top. Folks won't see the back side of this quilt. Okay, so now we're gonna take just a few stitches to anchor myself in place here. Now I'm gonna start that first leg towards me. And as I come down here, I'm just gonna stop for a second. Catch my breath, and now I'm gonna create that arc. Over, and now I can come back up. And as I come back up, I'm just gonna take a second and pull these threads out of the way here. Let's just go ahead and trim those out. I don't want them to catch. I felt like they snagged a little bit on the bottom side as I got started. I can compensate for that in a little bit if I need. Now I'm gonna come over here to that other side, leaving myself space in the center. In the diagram, I arced opposite, so we'll do it just like we did in the diagram, leaving space for those rungs. Now I'm coming back down my center here, and I'm gonna arc back over, and I'm gonna stop. We're just gonna catch our breath, wiggle our shoulders a little bit, and at this point now, I can start to travel up the legs um, or the poles and start to fill in. So I want to get up this way here first, I'm gonna make another arc. Now, I'm gonna come down to the bottom point first so I can finish off the base of the web. Now, what I personally feel is key is as I begin to go back up and fill in, I do not want my points to come to the same point each time. A spider doesn't do it that way. Sometimes she does big, sometimes she does small. So I wanna to start to fill in these legs, just keeping a little bit of that arcing motion. Come 
down here. Now I still need to get over to this other side so I can come back down here. And in a second, what I'd like to do, because this is the design we're gonna focus on today, is I'm gonna extend this web by doing it all over again, by getting myself back up to the top. And then as I'm working my way back to the top, I'm just filling in any spots that I feel like are necessary to make it complete looking. And now as I hit here, I want to go ahead and build another portion of the web. So I'm going to do the exact same steps all over again, connected at this top point. But before I sign off on today's video and turn up the rock and roll and have a blast finishing this last web, I really appreciate all of your feedback and all your comments because like I said, somebody said we should have done this with glow in the dark thread and we should have done a spider web video. So here we did it for you. So I want to know what other style designs would you like me to show you all how to do in your free motion machine quilting right here at Man Sewing. Hey, are you still in here? I thought you would have been checking out some of those other great videos. You know, we've got a link there, over there. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you never miss a minute of the action. We'll catch you next time at Man Sewing. <laughs>